Hi, this is Sing Sing Life, and I'll be doing a tutorial on how to do digital line art on Easy Paint Tool Sci. So, what basically you're gonna need is either a scan photo, or if you already did a sketch in Easy Paint Tool Sci, and I'm using a scan photo. This is my picture that I'll be using. It's one of my characters. Um, so I get everything ready first. I pick out what color I'm going to be inking in. I actually use, I'm actually using a dark purple color. I don't like to ink in black. For some reason, it makes my pictures, when I color it, it makes my pictures look really flat. And Well, it's only me, but you could ink in black if you want. And we'll be using pen or ink pen. I actually go between the two fees because they're actually really good inking pens. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, when I ink, I actually ink on separate layers. So I would use a layer called Phase. Um, and I'll be showing you in a quick demonstration how I want my hand and how we'll be doing, like, how we'll be inking. Um, the way I ink, because um, truth be told, I actually recently learned how to ink digitally by my boyfriend. He's another artist. And he told me um, the way I ink on Easy Paint Tool Side is actually useful in inking pictures traditionally with ink pens and ink brushes, or even just using a bottle of ink and just a paintbrush. So I'm gonna show you how to warm up your hand real quick and how to hold your hand. Um, like, I mean, hold your hand. <laughs> Sorry, hold your pen. Um, if you're using a tablet, um, I use a tablet because it's way easier for me because I can't ink using a mouse. It, I just can't. <laughs> so let me flip over to show you how I warm up my hand. Um, and after that, I'll show you a quick rule that I have, and then um, we'll get started. Okay, so you guys are looking at my tablet. I have a bamboo pen tablet, and the way I'm holding my pen is kind of loosely. Um, so when you're gonna be inking, you're actually gonna have like a loose hand. You're not gonna clench it like this. You're gonna have actually really loose. And what helps me is that I do an extra layer, and I don't even name the layer. It's kind of like a scratch paper for me. And I'm gonna warm up my hand, so I just do really quick lines like this, just straight lines. And then after I do a few straight lines, I start making curved lines. So it could actually warm up my hand. <laughs> Sorry, sounded funny. Um, you know, just curved lines. And now I just do it for about five, um, about two to three minutes. So, you know, my hand can get used to it. And like I said, it's an extra layer that I'm not gonna use. And as soon as I'm done, like, warming up, I'm just gonna erase it. And yeah, so this is, how you're gonna move your hands to be quick, rapid movements. Um, you don't wanna like just you see how my hand's doing just like this. You don't wanna do that. Because I've noticed when I used to line art before I even knew how to um, before when I used to line my art like that, it would cause my hand to cramp. And now that I just do quick movements, my hand doesn't cramp that much. So I'm gonna go back to um, paint tool side and I'm gonna show you the do's and the don'ts of inking. So let me just quickly flip over to Paint Tool Sai. Okay, so I kind of cleared layer two, and I was actually using it as a warm up. So just little quick strokes like this, you know. So there's um, one thing, one rule that my boyfriend told me is a don't rule. Don't push down your pen and use a line like this because it doesn't really give it a weighted look and if you look at these other lines right here they look really weighted so um I actually did the face because I forgot to press the record button so I actually did the face already and with layer 2 you can actually keep that or delete it um, after you're done doing your strokes and warming up your hand I actually like to delete it because I like to keep a track on what I'm doing <coughs> excuse me so um once I do it, once I already do some lines, I like to trim it off and trim it on, just to see if it looks good to me. So I'm actually going to show you um, how I do lines. So uh, as I told you before, you're 
actually use quick strokes. And what I like to do when I'm drawing, I'm going to actually switch to pen, because in pen I realized I pushed too hard, so it makes that really thick line. So this is when I push really hard, and this is when I push really light. Yeah, I'm just showing you real quick, so control Z. And um, also up here, if you notice my mouse, it's moving on the center thing. So I like to use 15, but if um, I'm doing something like the eyes, I'll use like a S5, because it S5 or S7, because with S7, it actually moves along and it's easier to control. And then F15, it's not really easy to control, it's just how you go to your hand. So we're going to actually do the other eye. doing an ink pen. Um, ink pen is actually way better because it's not like pen. If you notice ink pen, I push a little hard and it's that thick. So if I go to pen and I push a little hard, it's that thick. So right now I'm loving ink pen. Got it. And um, sometimes I'll just do this. So I'm just using the quick, kind of quick, um, what do you call it? <laughs> quick movements, thank you. Quick movements. Turn off the face real quick and just show you the hair. And, um, sometimes with the Opacity. I hope I'm saying that word right. <laughs> I'll put it a little low. To see. It depends. Like today, I really didn't want to put it that low. But with the hair, I'm going to put it a little lower so it kind of looks. When you ink, try to make fast movements. Like it has, I've been telling you, try to make fast movements so we can actually have this weird look to it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it real quick and then I'm going to continue on drawing so you can see how I do my my inking. So here we go.
Okay, so I just finished inking, and um, you could tell that I didn't do the shirt or her um, little hearts on her leggies yet, because I'm actually going to do that when I start coloring. And you might have noticed I used a vector layer for the little hat things right here. And the reason why I used that was because A, I got lazy, and B, um, I decided that it actually would make a better curve for it. And um, when you use a vector layer, try to use, let me go to the vector layer real quick, try to use the pressure point. And what the pressure point does is that, um, I call it the pressure point, the pressure does is that it makes it skinnier or thicker. So like just play around with it until you think, oh, like until you think that it actually looks nice. I was just doing it, you know, um, wait, like that, um, yeah. So now that we're done inking, all you gotta do is go over and erase the unnecessary parts. And then that's what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna go over and I'm just gonna erase all these unnecessary parts. And, um, after that I'll be coloring. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, if you have any questions, don't be afraid or be shy to comment me. Um, I will answer your questions, don't worry. Sometimes it does take a while for me to answer questions because sometimes I just forget about my YouTube page, so I forget I even have a YouTube page. But, um, hopefully next time I'll be doing a coloring one. So, yeah. Let's take a look. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. Well, bye!